<laughs> What's going on, Warriors? It's your boy, Lionheart. I'm back. Feels good to be back, man. Sorry. I've not been doing videos as much. As you will know, you know, life is a bit crazy right now. It's good, but it's been crazy busy, right? So I've not been able to keep in touch with all my, do my videos. And I'm sorry that I've not been responding to you guys on, um, on the videos and everything like that. I'm really sorry. I've pretty much hardly been in my house. Right, and then when I'm in my house, I'm in my house for like maybe an hour, if even that, you know. So I haven't had time to do anything for myself even, right. So I'm very, very sorry about that. I do appreciate all the likes, the comments. Um, you guys are amazing. Um, I've been reading the comments that you guys have been saying and everything like that. Um, I don't know if I deserve it, right. But um, I'll say, I'll humbly accept and I'll say thank you and I'm going to do my best, you know, to make sure that um, you guys' belief in me is not misplaced, you know, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm back, um, I'm going to be doing this video as much as I can, right, and so even this video that I'm doing right now is pretty random, right, I just want to, I want an excuse, basically, to, like, talk to you guys and start, like, um, a line of communication, you know, because I've been thinking about some stuff and I want to hear what you guys think and feel as well you know um and you know we're the warriors you know what i mean we are united the people you know what i mean so we're all together in this one so yeah let's just talk man so as you can see by what i got down there it's about um xbox what's going on with xbox i don't really understand i mean look me personally i had the playstation playstation 2 and i got an xbox didn't get a PlayStation 3. Loved the Xbox. Got an Xbox 360. Xbox 360, absolutely godlike, right? They cornered the market. They got the right stuff. They got the good netcode. They got the good online. They stole it. Okay. Um, PlayStation uh, 4 and the Xbox One comes out. Now, initially, I got the Xbox One first for sunset overdrive and because i heard about a game called scalebound that was being made by a company um developers made called platinum games you know and they're like godlike um bunch of godlike developers from capcom you know they made games like uh, resident evil and uh, resident evil 2 devil may cry 1 and devil may cry 3 um, Okami, Beautiful Joe, PNO, Free, um, you know, those type of incredible games. And with Platinum Games, they went on to make games like um, Bayonetta, you know, Vanquish, um, Mad World, you know, like some really incredible, godlike, technically sound, amazing um, gameplay based games you know the story in those games may not have been the best but the actual visual and the system in those games are absolutely incredible their pedigree is second to none right so that's all I needed to know that Microsoft was giving Platinum Games a blank check to make an RPG with godlike system it sounds like a win to me something happened that game got the dust boots now it's not in production anymore right um, what else I'd get other than Sunset? So basically, they kind of dashed my hopes, to be honest with you. Because the main reason I got that game, as I said, was for um, initially Scalebound and then Sunset Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive did come out, but I don't know what's going You know, whatever. Scalebound is dead. Right? And I still play my Xbox. Well, I still did play my Xbox. I got Witcher for the Xbox. I got um, Batman. Even though that game is wank. Yeah, for um, Xbox, I got, uh, what is it, Final Fantasy XV uh, for the Xbox. I got a lot of games, you know, Assassin's Creed, uh, Syndicate. I got like a lot of, I got a lot of games for the um, Xbox because it is, it was my, 
primary console. And I believe because it had everything that I liked, it had the dashboard, it has the apps, it got the YouTube, it got the Twitch apps, it's got the Crunchyroll, it's got Netflix, it's got all the apps, it's got the music player, it's got the Blu-ray player, it's got everything I need, it's like a little hub of everything that I need, right? So it was my proper console. And then I heard about Street Fighter only coming out on the PlayStation 4. So I needed to get the PlayStation 4 if I wanted to play my Street Fighter. Okay. But then this put me into a little dilemma. Because you could only get a stick that worked on, like, you know, like an official stick. That will either work on the Xbox or the PlayStation. That's simple. Right? And, you know, sticks cost a lot of money. 200, 300 pound. You know, at least three, um, close to 300 pound for a good high quality stick. Yeah? Okay, and there's no way I'm going to be playing and um, paying £300 for a stick that works on Xbox and a £300 stick that works on the PlayStation 4. Uh-uh, negative, not happening, right? So when I say I'm going to get Street Fighter for the PlayStation 4, automatically what that means is every single fighting game I'm getting on the PlayStation 4. That's basically what it means initially because of the stick. And because of the community. Okay. Now I already know that the anime community is on PlayStation 4. Because of Guilty Gear. Yeah. You only play Guilty Gear on the PlayStation 4. So there you've got like a whole bunch of fighting game people that are already playing the game on that console. Right. Okay. No problem. And then they start releasing games like Nier Automata. Yeah. Um, amazing game. You know, another game made by, um, no, this game was made by Square Enix. Square Enix, um, and they work with a guy called, what was his name? I can't remember his name. Um, some weird director. Um, but, yeah, but really talented, didn't it? They made games like, um, yeah, Nia, Grot Assault, and um, Dragon Guard, and all those type of games, right? So they are, you know, the guy's a good, he's a good, um... He makes good stories, yeah, but it's just this time he lucked out because he made a game with uh, Platinum Games, which was a win. So it's essentially Square Enix, um, that director, I can't remember his name, and Platinum Games. It's an incredible um, team up, right? And then that game is amazing. And then I start seeing all these type of games that are coming out only on PlayStation. Um... God Eater, only on PlayStation, you know, um, okay, so Dragon Ball, for example, does come out on PlayStation, um, Xbox as well as PlayStation, but it's an anime game, and all the anime people that are playing Guilty Gear are automatically going to play Dragon Ball, and they are already on, a massive community is already on PlayStation, so there's a bigger community on the PlayStation, so I might as well get, and I've got a stick for the PlayStation, Plus, I've got all my friends that play Street Fighter and all the Street Fighter community that are going to be playing Dragon Ball. So, I might as well get Dragon Ball on the PS4. For me, it's a fool's game to get it on the Xbox. So, that decision's made for me. Huh. You know, um, Tekken. Well, I've got a stick on the PlayStation 4. And... The whole fighting game community, pretty much Street Fighter people, Dragon Ball people, um, Guilty Gear players, they're all on there. They're going to probably dip their toe in some Tekken. So that's a massive community and my stick. So I might as well get Tekken on the PlayStation 4 instead of the Xbox. So can you see what's happening right now? Then you have RPGs. You know, as I say, you had games like Nia Automata. Your games like God Eater, games like Disgaea, you know, um, coming out only on the PlayStation 4. Exclusives, not games that you can get on both consoles. Exclusives. The only game that I've, I've mentioned that is not exclusive is Dragon Ball, but it might as well be. <laughs> you know, uh, then I'm starting to see all these type of games, they're only coming on the PlayStation 4. And now it's got to the point where. I don't even play my Xbox anymore. They got me. Yeah. One of the people that. I I get stuck in my ways. 
And I was playing the Xbox for so long, I had no intention of switching to the PlayStation 4. PlayStation 4, I was literally only going to play that for my Street Fighter. For my Tekken. That was it. That's only the reason. Mostly Street Fighter. That was most of the reason I was going to play my Xbox, my PlayStation. Uh, and before I realised it, I, my friends, I start to see a lot of my friends on, are on there. So, multiplayer games. Okay, let's look at Monster Hunter. Now, a lot of my friends are on PlayStation because of fighting games. So, I want to play with my friends. So, I might as well get it on PlayStation. Right? So, when you lose a community, like fighting game community, you're losing a massive in-store base. Right? Then you've got games that are coming out in the future. Like, what is it? Uh, Days Gone. That's like some new game that's coming out that looks really interesting. They've got that's exclusive. They've got um, Spider-Man. This new Spider-Man game that's coming out exclusively on the PS4. Uh, they've got um, Last of Us 2 and Last of Us. That's coming out exclusively on the PS4. They've got... Um, what's that game called again? Um, with a character called Aloy and she's in Monster Hunter um, Horizon Zero Dawn exclusively on Playstation they better pray that Devil May Cry 5 right is going to be not exclusively on Playstation because if that Devil May Cry 5 the new Devil May Cry is going to come out on a PS4 exclusive Xbox are fucked they're fucked, man. They're fucked. You know? So, I don't see a reason to get them games on the Xbox. I can't see it. This is coming from me. It's weird, man. It's so weird. Okay. So, let's look at what Xbox have got. So, there's a game called Sea of Thieves. That was supposed to be Xbox's most and... Rare made it, but they are owned by Microsoft. And this is their most ambitious game to date. Sea of Thieves is supposed to be a flagship biggest game that Rare has made with the funding and resources of Microsoft. Sea of Thieves. Have you played that game? Then I need to say no more. I don't know what to say. It doesn't fill me with enthusiasm when you tell me that the game that has got the biggest amount of resources, the biggest game to date, is Sea of Faith. That doesn't fill me with enthusiasm and confidence and belief at all in Microsoft in it or in their exclusive titles. Crackdown. What am I, what am I supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to crack down free? What am I supposed to do with that? You know, it's... it's um, Xbox is so... I mean, I never got Xbox One X. And I was going to get the Xbox One X. But the reason I didn't was I looked at Xbox One X and I said, so what's this machine going to offer me? 4K gaming. Now, what exclusives are on there? There are no exclusives that interest me. There are none. Um, what they've redone... At them Gears of War and Halo and all those type of uh, blah 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 games. Yeah, yeah, of course, predictable, predictable. Of course they did, right? What else have they done? What other games have they done uh, that is exclusives? That is proper brand new. That is that blows me away. And I'm not talking about um, an Xbox Live game. And Sea of Thieves pretty much is an Xbox Live game. I can't believe it's not an Xbox Live game, but, you know, whatever, right? They're not convincing me. You're you're not getting me. You need to be pulling out some mad games, man. Some mad, mad games. Like, they need to be doing, like, working with Marvel to do an ex, uh, an exclusive X-Men fighting game. Or Devil May Cry 5 needs to be coming out exclusively for Xbox, right? They need to just... Uh, Resident Evil. Right? 
exclusively for Xbox. They ain't doing none of that. They don't do that. But it's, it's weird. So, for me, I cannot see why I'm going to get an Xbox One X. Because my TV, my 4K TV, 55 inch, can do everything the Xbox can do except play games. And what games that is coming out on the PlayStation... That is on the... Um, why would I pick, like, for example... Um, what game came out that is on both consoles? As I said, no, Dragon Ball. That's too much of an easy one, right? Let's think of something else that came out that I bought. Not that game there. Monster Hunter. That came out on the Xbox and it came out on um, PS4. Now, I can't see why I'd get it on the Xbox. I can't see why I'd get it on the Xbox. Because all my friends are on PS4. And most of the games that I'm getting, as I say, Nia, Dragon Ball, Street Fighter, Tekken, God Eater, um, Horizon Zero Dawn, um, you know, Last of Us, um, games like maybe Detroit, that game looks interesting, that's going to be coming out. Those games are on PS4, so already the games that I'm going to be playing more are on the PS4, so... Why would I get it on the Xbox? I've got no reason to, you know. It's just, a, and it's that like Xbox are not trying. They're not doing nothing about it. I don't understand it. I don't understand. What games have they pulled out? They ain't pulled out no games, man. Oh, we're staying silent. Now, look, they've done this shit before, man. When they've stayed silent for a year and then they've come out and said, we are released and we are going to be showing you 22 Xbox exclusives and 18 of them are Xbox um, Xbox Live games <clears throat> or Xbox ID games that doesn't mean anything to me that doesn't mean anything to me you know and then what else have they got uh, and then the other games is games like um, what's that that um, what whatever the game and you freeze in time or whatever point break or whatever it's called Right, some mad game where the character can freeze time and mess about with time or whatever. I don't even care, man. It's, it's just so nothing to me. I don't even want to waste... I'm not thinking about it. I'm not going to waste my brain cells on anything like that. Yeah. So it's just... It's weak. Xbox is weak. I, I, and I don't want to say it. But I am now converted fully to PlayStation 4. It's just bad, man. It's bad, and Xbox have done this. Microsoft have done this, right? It's like they've got a good guy there, Phil Spencer. They've got the money, they've got the resources, um, but they're just failing. Like I don't understand how you can have so much money, so much resources, know so much about games, and you still can't make any games that is interesting. And there's no so how can PlayStation, PlayStation have Spider-Man, the PS4 version. How can they have Nier Automata? How can they have God Eater? How can they have games like that and um, get Street Fighter exclusive and Microsoft doesn't? It just says to me that Microsoft, is they're not coming to the table. They're not coming to the table with these third-party developers and saying, we can work with you on your game. We can um, help do some type of funding with this game to pull it on our console. You know, like, it's like Xbox is killing Xbox, right? Because even me, somebody who said, look man, I'm with Xbox. Because it's, it's, it's my, it's my home console. That's my number one console. That's the one I feel most comfortable with. That's the one I've been playing for years and years. I... It was it was very slow and gradual, but I have actually now made the complete transition to PlayStation 4. You know, I constantly, at all times, I have Street Fighter, Tekken, Dragon Ball, and Monster Hunter, and Nier Automata on a loop. Those are the games that I play the most. Um, Xbox, I've got Final Fantasy 15. And Assassin's Creed. And I don't want to put the console on to play those games. I don't want to do it. And I don't need to put the Xbox on 
for the entertainment aspect, for the media player, for the apps like Netflix and all that kind of stuff because my TV can do that and it's quicker and it's better. And let's say, for example, the um, 4K HD player, yeah? It's not even good on the Xbox. It's like, it's a shit 4K player. So, the, the that aspect of it is redundant. I know what to say, man. I know what to say. And it's all Xbox's fault. They lost to themselves, right? So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. What would I know? What would I know? You know, I mean, I'm sure that there are still people out there that love Xbox. And I'm happy about that. Because I don't want PlayStation to corner the market, right? Because if they corner the market, then they can dictate what happens in, you know, with games and everything like that. You know, in terms of services, in, st in terms of a standard. They get to control way too much, which is, I don't want that. You know what I mean? So that's why I do buy some games still. Like Assassin's Creed. Sin um, no. Assassin's Creed. The new Assassin's Creed that came out. Origins. I bought that on the Xbox. <gasps> I consciously bought that on the Xbox because <gasps> I buy everything for the PlayStation 4 anyway. What games have I pre-ordered? It's an exclusive. God of God of War. Right, I was about to say God of War, I, I, I picked on the PlayStation 4, but it is only on the PlayStation 4. You know, that's another example, God of War, um, God of War, that's only ex um, exclusively on the um, PlayStation 4, right? And then you say to yourself, yeah, because um, PlayStation, they built the framework for that to happen because it's Santa Monica Studio. But then if you think about it, yeah, Microsoft, they could do the same thing. They did it with, um, what's it called again, for Halo. They did it for um, Gears of War. Why can't they build it for more games? You know, why has it just got to only be shooter games? It's just whatever, man. It's whatever. It's it's not good. It's not good. It makes me sad, if I'm being honest with you, for Xbox, because I don't see how they can win me back in E3 this year. E3, it's not possible to win me back because I know they're not going to pull out many exclusives i know they're not and the suits that they are going to pull out are probably going to be um xbox live games or xbox id games that are made by indie devs you know so but you know i'm prepared to be surprised surprise me with the exclusives right so yeah i mean that's that's all i wanted to talk about i just want to talk about what's going on with playstation and xbox and my personal opinion and how I'm feeling about um, Xbox and PlayStation and where I feel Xbox went wrong, right? So I think somewhere early on in this video, I explained where, for me personally, my story, where I felt Xbox went wrong, right? Um, yes, yeah, so I want to know what you guys play. What, do you play PlayStation? Do you play Xbox? How are you feeling? And I do understand not everybody can have a PlayStation and an Xbox, right? Um, even the fact that I've got that, I think it's, it's, it's stupid. It, it feels stupid to me. And the only reason I can justify a Switch is because the Switch, basically, is I only play this when I'm at, when I'm at work or when I'm travelling. You know, I don't play anywhere else, you know. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, yeah, the Switch, right? It's a good console. It's a really fun. I've never played this on my TV. I've never played this console at home, ever. I only play this when I'm traveling, when I'm in a car, when I'm on a bus, when I'm on a train, or when I'm at work. Yeah. And when I'm on other adventures as well, you know. But, yeah, so I just say my home console is PlayStation Xbox. But 98% PlayStation. And that is a switch because before it was 98% Xbox and then literally 2% PlayStation. And now since Street Fighter 5, that has completely switched. So it's taken me 
basically since PlayStation, um, since Street Fighter Five came out, it's t gradually, it's taken from then to Dragon Ball. So let's say from when Dragon Ball and Monster Hunter came out. So from the timeline from Street Fighter all the way through to Monster Hunter and Dragon Ball. So that is the period of time it's taken to get me off of Xbox to be a fully fledged PlayStation Nation member. Right? And I stopped playing Xbox. So when Street Fighter came out, I was like 98% on Xbox and 2% on PlayStation and that slowly started to change and I became more and more and more and till now Xbox is just in the front room gathering dust unfortunate but it is what it is so yeah Warriors um, that's all I really wanted to talk about that um, really it's just an excuse as I say to talk to you guys to see you guys and be seen by you guys um, and yeah, just have like a little bit of dialogue. And as I said, once again, thank you. I'm reading your comments, man. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. You know, um, that's why I even make this video. I'm not making this video for um, views or basically for... Um, because no one's interested in this topic. You know, I just want to talk with you guys. The warriors that subscribe, that comment, that share, that like. Um... That you guys can see what I'm doing, you know, um, I'm just keeping it real, you know, maybe I mess up, I hesitate, uh, I, I go um a lot, I don't cut the video because I want it to just be straight, natural, raw, you know, um, and you guys get it, you know, and I say, I'm not going to be perfect, right, but look man, it is what it is and I just do it and... As I say, I'm like you guys. I'm exactly like you guys. I'm a normal fucking human being. I ain't going to pretend to be anything that I'm not. You know, because that's long. Right? From time you have to pretend that you're perfect and you don't do this and you don't do that. You know what I mean? It's cumbersome. It's cumbersome pretending to be something that you're not. Because then it's like you're keeping up a mask. You're keeping up a facade. And that you can't keep it up. You can't keep it up. I saw something in the corner of my eye. Right, so, yeah. Um, and you guys are cool, because I know you guys accept me for that. And I accept you guys. Every day, all day, all the time. Every time. So, um, yeah, Warriors, uh, I want to say thank you um, for listening. Stay in tuned for all this time, and I'll go on a lot. But, um, yeah, that's what it is. So, Warriors, I want to see you guys in the comment section. Thank you. For, keep on liking, subscribing, um, sharing, and... Warriors, until my next video, I will catch you guys later. Nice.